Hello dear students welcome back to e classes of commerce standard 12 in this video we are going to continue structure of an organizations second type that is functional organization let's study that in detail let's begin with meaning functional organization is work based organization that means functional organization gives more importance to work we have studied the linear organization in last video it gives more importance to departments than work and that's the greatest limitation of linear organization but this functional organization is work based organization that means it gives more importance to work rather than department due to functional organization business unit can get specialization as it focus more on work so structure is formed in such a way that experts with specialized knowledge are given special responsibilities and task of that particular area for example personal officer will look after the recruitment transfer and the promotions of that particular unit or the other example can be the purchase officer is fully responsible for all type of purchase related work so experts are hired for each work and they are given that particular work this way specialization can be available in functional organization so it is not like linear organization where stress is more on department and less on functions in linear organization structure administrators and officers perform many kind of different different task and it is obvious that all of them are not expert in all those task so business unit cannot get specialization but in functional organization structure business unit can get the benefit of specialization as it gives or assign the work or task as per the abilities of employees let's have a look on the formation of functional organization and be more clear about it so here we have the chart of functional organization as we all know functional organization gives more importance to work distribution and specialization so here the work is divided as per the nature of work and for each kind of work different experts are appointed and such experts take the whole responsibility of the task assigned to them they also be the advisors for the business unit so on the top you can see the chief officer so he has the whole and soul responsibility of the business unit as per the chart the unit can be divided into two parts each unit has its own list of activities and work and in the same way it is assigned to different officers according to this each officer can give orders to the employees under him to perform the task here you can see in administrative department four works are to be performed information or public relation officer then discipline officers account officer and guidance officers so administrative department have to look on these four areas then factory department under factory department we have group officers time officers quality control officers and maintenance engineer so here we are done with the chart of functional organization in this type of organization it is considered that not a single work remains unassigned and at the same time not a single work is assigned twice organizational units in which there is more variety to be seen in work this kind of structure is more favorable that means if the business unit is on large scale functional organization structure is more favorable for business unit as it gives the benefit of specialization by giving more importance to functions than department so here we are done with the second type that is functional organization thank you